Hello readers of your plays and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, I have been putting off playing this game. And yes, I'm still highly suspicious of it. Last time we played, we joined the Literature Club, we read this on Roa First Bomb, did some reading with Yuri over here. So far, everything was okay. There were even some really cute moments, but I ex expect that to change very, very soon. We are now on our second day of the Literature Club, and yeah, not looking forward to it. One second, please. I think my mic is maxing out. Uh... I think I'll do it. Okay, I should do it, yeah. Lower the music a bit as well. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. That should do it. Right, go and load, load up the game. And we are on day. Well, second day. Yeah. Let's see. Writing a second poem. I'm once again I'm going to go with what I prefer personally prefer, so let's see. Heart music dazzle effil effulgent? Not sure what that means. Sounds familiar though. Fireworks cheek melancholy disown fireflies shame. I like music. Lost essence party sarscape and candy feather loud ambient misfortune sweet. Nice sort of cake. Vacation sing shopping parfait death and trippy color Sparkle Covet. Mm, I do like seeing these balls. Top email, city, aura, tenacious, childhood, shiny, joy, milk, question. Is it like aura? Aura or shiny? Shiny aura? Aura. Well, melody, embrace, chocolate, flying, thoughts, incongruent, pleasure, clouds, memories, games. I like to fly. I like the idea of flying in these, so let's go flying. Strawberry pink, climax, fatality, cheer, vivid, lazy, skipping, lions, blah blah. Vivid. Wonderful raindrops, contamination, family, herbal, smile, proof, bed, chop, suicide, not. Uh, oof. Marshmallows, bedding, king, together, peaceful, baby, grandfather, dances, incredible. I peaceful. Tears, marriage, existence, massacre, and ending, lipstick, fester, vanilla, lucky, and asses. Uh, sure. Romans cry, horror, vivacious, vivacious. After image, extreme, captive, big down, pop, not stable. Let's go for romance. Seems like we're creating a lot of sour use at this point. Landscape imagination, love, uh, possible, hopeless excitement, and gritted, anger, pain, grief. Imagination. Scars, doki doki, swimsuit, cage, candy, amazing, broken, rolling pop, invaluable, daydream. Destiny, a tongue, dark, fickle, whistle, passion, world, and control, and people, okay, well, destiny. Sticky, agonizing adventure. That's like some name of bad art, bad art, energy. Rainbow, love, prayer, vibrant, ocean, charm, ocean, vibrant. Kiss, headphone, writing, skirt, bubbles, infinite, clumsy, mouse, precious, twirl. I feel like some of these are repeating from the previous time we wrote a poem. I guess it's only so many, uh, so many poems. Let's go on here. Despise, misery, hurt, treasure, promise, whisper, flower, journey, heaven sent, call. Let's go heaven sent. Graveyard, special blanket, tragedy, explode, eternity, defeat, bouncing, sadness, family. Puffy, anxiety, happiness, hair, poop, frustrate, you know. No, I go for poop, but I like the universe better. Yeah. Jumpy, determination, philosophy, fear, insight, sugar, summer, and cloud anime holiday. But I like anime. Socks, heartbeat, waterfall, rolls, desire, food, friends, pure, wrath, form. It's a waterfall. Right, we're on, we're on next day. I expect things to go wrong on this day. 
<sighs> but another day passed ever since time for the concert meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable with you over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene that greets me. Hi Sophie. No, sorry. Looks like you're in good mood today. <laughs> I'm just so not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple scene for to get you in a good mood. I guess always a simple scene that with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Really? Will you come with me to buy us back? No oh, thanks. Eh? That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sorry. Eh? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. She wants us to buy a snack for her, doesn't she? I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh, sorry, there's a bit of a trees of corn purse. She fumbles the latch and gets it open. And then she turns upside down. And then lets its content spill onto the desk. One or two small coins from the back falls out. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I can see where it's you, Sally. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money to do in the first place, you might have bought a snack for coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget you and spend all your chain money so you're able to venture some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only needs to for one option. Uh, I give up. But if you feel guilty, feel guilty. If you feel guilty, then you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Maybe something giggles. Eh? I don't know if that's yours listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah. I was listening to what you saying. Yes, you are. There's just something in my book. Mary. That's what you let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sally. Besides, you shouldn't only buy what you can really have responsibility for. And frankly, after pulling in the street or something like that, your suffering is fair enough frustration. Ah. Did I just... I didn't mean that. Busted. I got to book my book. Ooh. <laughs> I really like it when you speak about your age. Doesn't matter. It doesn't happen, happen much, but it's the fun side of you. That's... There's no way you can see that. You're right, though. You did something bad enough to accept a revolution. Revolution? Revolution, yeah. That. <laughs> Still, coming from you, sorry. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sorry knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before and she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come in the first if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I'd have tricked Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know where it's supposed to snack, sorry, the face and pebbles on her desk. Ow. Uh, what was, eh? Cookie. Sure enough, the giant lip cookie got the plastic. Sorry, you guys are around. Is, is this a miracle? No, it's not scary. Is he gonna take my restitution? Retribution? Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you bad about the cupcakes. It's only worth seeing, it's only worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> not me. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sorry, hugs a cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sally rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Yeah. Mm. Sally suddenly claps her hand over her mouth. What? Oh, bit my tongue. Ah, silly woman. <laughs> he goes through a lot just over one cookie. What's he think about it over one cookie? Ah, it looks, yours looks really good too, Natsu. Can I try it? Jeez. Maybe it's gonna be choosers. I use this chocolate. Wait, wait, one second, I turn off my steam over there. There you go. That should do it. Sorry about that. Yeah, do you think I can do that one? Oh, yeah, why do you think I can do that one? Oh, fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. 
Sorry, Katara, see you guys. You ask me to ask her arms around her. Ah, uh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, ask me to do such a nudge. Sorry, offer it. Sorry, so it means I'll take the battle, ask me to do it. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Oof, oof, oof. Not full, sorry, trust me, it's safe. You read my laugh as well. Jeez, you're just a kid sometimes. Monica, can you go, sorry? Eh? Let's see, catch around. Monica is in the club room. Okay, I have the game files open, but so far it looks like nothing has changed yet. Hmm, alright. Ah, uh, where's Monica, anyways? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. Is this where she... I think they're going to be dinner, isn't it? The log got updated, but that's... just a log. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. I hope... of course she's okay. Probably just has something to do to... something to... Ah, something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. That's true. Eh? You don't think she... she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I don't need to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose a club over her boyfriend after all. It's a strong build. Boyfriend? Clown and everybody talking about. Monica puts a pink at me. Never mind that. Uh, what held you up anyways? Ah. Uh, well, my last period was slightly hard. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You wouldn't have- you would have heard of bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I was not where you play music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really- I kind of saw it recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. So cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get no better, I will. Yay! She sounds like she's lying though, for some reason. Or oh, she's avoiding the question of what she was doing. Was she murdering people? I wouldn't be surprised. That sounds cool. No, that's not that cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Sophie. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I don't need any pressure or anything like that. <sighs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot lately. And I really love the chance to show ones already. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to be that my salary is much cheaper as a queen. I tried not to wear the companion to her anyways. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sorry somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book and asked me to appear into the closet. Closet? Hey Yuri, oh. Hey? Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading his different book by the time we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So it looks like we're going for the Yuri route again. I did get a lot of her... Pick a lot of her words last time, so I'm not surprised. Ah, no. I was kinda of just waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time feel any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Aww. Yuri said that it makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of a wallet with a filter inside. Can you hold on to this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the, end at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves, if any contrast with speaking mannerisms, Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and method with the bodyguard that. 
Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Nothing's gonna hold the land or we're at all together. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Eh? I guess here there's gonna be something, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds since we just a ago. We just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell you... Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with me? Of helping me involve soaking in the color activities? <laughs> wow. The rough capes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. But let's go, Sophie. Ah. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Is Yuri mad? She sounds a bit mad. Once in the hallway, she suddenly pushes her forehead against the wall. I spoke about sinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. Me feels so irritated. Oh dear. What's wrong with me? Oh Yuri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for people not going to judge people like that. Is she Yander? She is, isn't she? She got close to me, but now she doesn't want any other, any other girls to be close to me. So when Monica was starting to question it, she got pretty mad. I don't know why I didn't see it before. The quiet ones are always the enders. Oh boy. How can I even when I do something bad? They always be nice to me. Because the thing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions. We can't always hide them away. But you always simplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah. Uh, no. No. Why do you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Fr friend, you say. Ah. Uh, um... Maybe that's her head. Sophie. I really like being friends with you. Haha. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I kind of feel awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walked to the nearest water fountain. Once away, we fell off the water pitcher, we turned to the classroom. Sophie, do you like oolong tea? It's not bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You reset the temperature on the camera to 200 degrees. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius? If it's Celsius, it's very damn hot on hot. I'm pretty sure it's Fahrenheit. But I'm not sure the conversion rate for Fahrenheit Celsius. Hmm. Oops. I think she said something about getting a teapot. I forgot to read it though. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less, any less when I make you tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> oh, that's me. In that case, you'll only be more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. You really fetch us a teapot and begins in measuring tea leaves. Wow. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. When I make tea, I guess measure it by eyeball, not actually measuring the weight and whatnot. Anyways, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was living a show. Did you notice? I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided to try... I, I decided that I would try expressing myself a bit more. A little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. But it's you who's around anyway. Huh? Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Sophie. So you're endearing. That's... He wasn't kidding. I even know I can keep up with this. I want you to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Sophie, have another request. Do you mind me sitting on the floor today? Eh? What's that? It's a bit easier on my back. I can read my back against the wall rather than bending around the desk. Okay, fair enough. Ah, sorry I didn't realize. No worries. I use the back pain very regularly, so I do manage my best to manage it. 
Is that so? I don't know quite how it is. So looks like it because my... Ah. My... You're positive, right? I always have to ever like that while reading. Yes. I don't care when you need to foster. It's not. It's not such a question to say. So that's what we should say on the floor. Fair enough. Never mind. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. So I have the small chocolate candies I kept hidden from Sari's candy ready bar. I think it's since it'll go well with tea. You already have to sit against the wall. Keep us on our sides. As in the sink, we assume the same reading position as last time. Each holding one half of the book. Except this time, the bar is even closer to each other. I can't see too well. So, maybe size closer and how I just touch a touching. How I just to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Her teacup. Yuri has even a teacup. Holding her hands up, that's not holding the book. I end up in a posture position. That makes it even harder to focus. Because I now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Eh. Mima, Yuri has an autism person. That's true. If your left shoulders up against someone and that, that same hand is holding up a key, it's gonna be a little hard. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I'm finding that I should relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I basically let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have that as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I might get smudged on the page. Oh. Yeah, chocolate's the intense to melt and get smudged like that. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. My bad. Let me do apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. It's a pretty thing. I wonder why her. Oh. Wait. Okay, okay. The flash on her eyes is ultimately not because I changed the you know, picture mode. I saw it was because... I thought she started looking at me but because I changed the picture mode. And that creeped me out for a second. But not necessarily creep me out. It was just coming off hard. Anyways... Pretty picture, but her blush is darker for some reason. And her expression looks kind of listless. Maybe that's because she's focused on reading. And totally not because of something else on her. Anyways, Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that it have any harder to have a time reading for it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading right now. Maybe they're just doing the flashes to make it seem like her eyes are weak going enough to write or as you read. I think the candy pop into my mouth. Can I take another chocolate? And I hold off to me, oh Yuri. How did I you know you were going to do that? She doesn't even look away from the book. Simply parts of her lips has a this situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I forgive it, I forgive it suddenly place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips around it. Yep. Here's a sunny sunny face. <laughs> then, then I just... Yuri looks at me as she needs to confirm what just happened. Oh, um... Sophie? So sorry. Because I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... We were just helping. That's something friends do. At this point, it's... Less French and more... That's something you a couple of those, I think. Right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then. Don't need to stop what I think. I see. 
So she seems about the movie intense. Maybe she has to return to her book. I can tell this by her expression that she, she can't focus now. My heart, my heart is pounding. I've never seen taken another piece of chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Lori's eyes ain't long. How did I even come to this? Maybe Duke doesn't ever her gaze. I don't suggest phrasing and falling to the prison of the press. Raise my arm. Up. Look before Yuri parts her lips. What's it for this time? I think it's chocolate and place it in her mouth. You don't have copper for my fingers. Oh god. Uh. Okay guys, everyone. That was really abrupt. Uh. Uh. Yuri drops back. It's hard to share poems. So if you can help Yuri put away the stuffy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. So it's what people have broken. Ow. I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri picks up the teacups on the floor. Pick up the bags of chocolate. In the end, we have to clean up the volume and so much is work between us. We get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Oh well. Right. Let's save and carry on. We got a good vibe of Yuri, so I'm going to take her to start. Let's see what you've written for today. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yuri stood at the bottom of a surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Sophie, so this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick this pick up on this yesterday? Okay. Look, they discontinued that. At the beginning, they said. Well, make it for sense for a few days, so it's not technically yesterday. So maybe, maybe she means it last time. Just if they're telling you the kind of techniques are practicing, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. They really wanted to try getting any more imagery. They were visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine, take your time. Ah, oh, she's so shy. Yuri breathes a class of thoughts. I know that Yuri likes like, to sing before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciative of this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid. But seeing so motivated by my writing just makes me really happy. Well, are you seeing every show you're writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. Besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, okay, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. Fix with you. Okay. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while assassin bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scutter scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my sh strange Hennessy's as a... Unordinary human, okay. That took, took me a while to read that one. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, but subconscious was well aware of his consequences. Well aware that a raccoon, a raccoon that's in his fed will always come back with more. The that's the beauty of my current life was a symptom. The bread, the hungry bear shouting. Raccoon. Oh dear. The moon increments increments its fame and reflects how much more light off my coming life. The same light that Chris Chris and I have my raccoon friend. A slice of bread, fresh and soft, raccoons becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied head. I don't know. Is she gonna kill raccoon? The raccoon has taken to following me. You can say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows his excitement. A gush rush of blood. Classic. Yep, I've already finished me. I slice of bread. I feed myself again. Did she or did she not kill the raccoon? You can't tell. I want to say yes, 
because of the blood scene, but it could be referencing to the excitement. I've only conditioned me, yeah. Condition, the raccoon has been conditioned to expect food but never leave. Whenever she flashes her knife. Okay, first of all, this time I'll pull this is a short story the rest of it. I feel myself again. Well, it could be because of the bread stack water. Could also. I don't think it's like a. I'm probably just reading too much into it because I'm expecting what else needs to happen. Yeah, let's see what Yuri has to say. Um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical, is it? I know this, if it's my fault, I can't even imagine doing it. What this poem is about. It's a short story at this point. That's right. It's really close to my preferred writing style. Using a poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and convey emotion straight up. Can you look through the poem again from history? Doesn't look like it, yeah, so it's one time to look at Yeah, but I think I have to study it, but I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well. I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in more unusual hobbies. I guess that's the feeding raccoon part. But... Her unusual hobbies... I got a bad feeling about that. If it's those sorts of, sort of things, I'm usually forced to keep myself. So sometimes, I sometimes enjoy, enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. I feel it would be fun of me. Or maybe they would call the police on you? Uh, don't you have any success like that, Sophie? Uh, well, of course I do. Yeah, I do. I feel like everyone has something, and there's something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would have probably hit myself. Well, I'm ramping a little nap bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. You do a lot of things. Writing, listening. They really are pretty people like you, Sophie. That's, that's exaggerating quite a bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I, I don't feel like I've looked forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. But you need to think for that. It's, it's nothing really. You need to start sincerely at me. For just a moment, I can listen to disappear. Okay, don't call it now. At the end of the year, she either kills the other girls because they were getting too close to me because she's younger, or she kills me because she wants to preserve me in, I don't know, her art, writing? Something like that. I feel like the former is more likely since I'm more pleased to that. <sighs> I don't know, I'm not looking forward to it. Let's have to knock on next. Hi again, Silky. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. I thought it was not going bad. Oh, I thought she was going to take my poem. Okay. I'm happy you're preparing yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, there you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Alright. This one's good. Feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style. Yeah. But the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to really describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up, picks up a pen. I noticed that too, from when she's talking about literature. It's like, it's like a time, light turns on inside her. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in her dark head, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. 
No, of course not. But it does mean that Rich, she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, must be pretty into her. Eh? Well, maybe. You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm fictional right anyways, okay. Monica and Carmen kind of whispers that last word to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, that, there's, no, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, uh, oh, well. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But, but anyway. Want to be my mom now? I like to read this one to switch right now, so I hope you, I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. Oh. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony. I think maybe that's what I don't know what that word means. The noise, it won't stop. Ballad, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sign, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vanilla on a piece of crust. An endless form of meaninglessness. I'm scared to reach the bottom. Load me. Are you talking about the save game and load game features? Monica is the meta one, so I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see what she has to say. Hmm. She's thinking more aspects than the last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. One second and... Game pass haven't changed, so... Okay. I guess it's still pretty normal for now. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with the space on the paper. Choose your and how to say your words with totally change the mood and pull. Oh yeah, I was expecting something cool about the last, on the last line. A really big jump scare. <sighs> it's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's so hard for me to tell what it's, it's about though. <laughs> Sometimes asking about a poem about isn't, right, isn't the, right, the right question. A poem can be as abstract as physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about some, something. Anyway, here's one of the writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult de decision. When that, when that happens, don't forget to say anything. There we go. You never know how you, when you might change your mind. Or what's also unexpected that may happen. Wait, is this the video you know? You know already? What have you been talking about? <laughs> That's my first day. Yep. Definitely the meta one. Thanks for listening. I just want to save and load. To trigger something. I'm all scared, but I'm gonna try it. Maybe you should say it's loaded in the earlier one. I don't really know if it's close to the house again. Not, not if I have a good reason to, at least. Right, let's go for. Let's go sour you next time. Things can follow the same order, pretty much. Oh, I like this one, Sophie. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mmm, let me think. What the heck is that? I have to go offline then. Sorry about that. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> ah, you said simple minded. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out bones if are good or bad. That's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel the same, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess I convey my fear. Conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, 
Me neither. Uh, at some point. Hmm. Is she depressed? Hiding under her happy sod? Sleeping, over sleeping all the time? Eating, out, eating a lot? Always hungry? And uh, not knowing what you like? I might be reading too much into it. I must probably am. Why don't you at least try giving me some salt? Aww, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy bulbs. Wait, sometimes I like cell phones too. Sometimes I don't get both. So it's a word for that, right? I think it's called medical heat. What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. For that. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, sorry. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes, sometimes we get a little ring cloud in your head. A cell phone can help give the ring cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. That's a nice way of looking at it. Sorry, that's unexpected to be poetic. Eh, it is? Maybe you can get better at trust in the feelings after all. Thanks, OP. I should go write that down then. You can view my poem now, okay? Sure. Bottles. I pop off, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine that rub you together like a bundle of, like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside my local press on my forefinger to pop one out, swarm the tin leaf. There's just no, no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. I put the bottle on a shelf of all the sorts of, of all the other bottles. Happy salts, happy salts, happy salts, happy in a bottle, all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle is starlight, star, uh, starlight to make amends. Some might, sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes to the bottles to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. I just go in a dark cave, discovering secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. Doesn't feel like the time of time elapsed. My empty shelf could be some more. My friend looks through my lock front door. Finally, all done. I open up and think of my friends. They come in in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other. Holding them out, each and every friend. Each and every bottle. Every time I let one go, it shatters again with the tab between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. It shines all across the over floor. They are so safe to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They are shouting and pleading, something. All I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. This one is much darker than her last one. I'm pretty sure now she's I'm pretty sure she's she's this best now. Talking about her happiness, putting in bottles and giving to her friends. They said that they're all shouting. And her friends aren't really friends anymore. They're all shouting at me. And her head is all empty now. After she took out all the happy souls. Even if it's not about her. Someone's writing does speak a bit about the writer himself, so... Yep, she's definitely depressed. Okay. Holy crap, it's right. Sorry, did you really, really write this? Of course I did. Did I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best book ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. 
lá com a família rolar. But they're really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. Yeah, she's been in touch with Jay's feelings, and that's what comes out. Yep. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you not being cheerful. Well, never mind. Don't see anything right about it. See? If a friend's depressed, even if she's showing you signs of, if they're showing you signs of depression, you don't just write it off as you simply do hard about it. Maybe. Maybe this is their first time. And maybe the character, like me as in the character, aren't looking for these signs, but me as in Sophie, the real life person. I'm, like, I'm looking at what these things because I know what kind of game this is. I lost my train of thought. Just. Let's just move on. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aww, thanks. I feel like. I feel like this meant to, I was meant to interest myself this way. It even helps me to understand my own feelings a little better. Ready is like magic. So many warnings and warning signs here. You guys are pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Oops. Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry I always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it. No more than a week later. I learned this one of those times. But seeing the past passion in her makes me it's so hard for me to be pessimistic. So Yuri is a yander. Sari is a depressed one. Monica is a meta is a meta one for sure. What is that like Natsuki? And maybe we'll find out. Hmm. Well it's not really any worse than the last one. I can't really say it's any better than any other. Phew. Huh. Huh? Phew, what? Ah, well, pacing you guys in a train wreck, not because of them. I get to feel they're probably more like the most critical. H hey, what makes you- Wait, maybe that's a compliment? Ah, <laughs> Kinda see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh... That's something that's been nasty for pain and support. Well, I'll give her the win. Come think of it, this reminds me of the- we have the Osiris poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been with friends of her horse for so long, you might, have the same, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sari has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? Since she's driving around and wait. Uh, that was a bit of a disturbing. That's harsh. Let's think of it this way. If it were for me, she would probably just fly away like Larry Little Balloon. You can see we can turn each other the wrong way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. You know what I, what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, really hairy. Harry, ugly spiders. That's why it happens with her. Amy has a cute singing voice, I heard. Well, Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing with her little song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why it happens with her. One time I hurt my head and hit my leg really bad. Amy held me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably close. That's what happens with her. That's really judgmental of you. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. One of her friends likes spider too. That's why I'm not friends with her. Doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. Doesn't matter if she, has, she keeps her private. Doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's right off of the spider lovers, without spider lovers.
Are you in the bunny type? It sounds like you would be the bunny. It's always something that you're you heard. You may be not as true or not. So I think you're just alienating her and spreading rumors about her. Just because you heard that she likes spiders. This music does not fit this tone, just not at all. Not bad, right? It's quite longer than yesterday's. This series of waiting was making sure. I just warm me up. Happy dancing again is the best I can do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this phone. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain your complicated issues with much simpler analogies. I guess so. Try to see what other analogies it could be. I don't think like racism would be should be racist just because of I think this is that based in Japan. Strange. Maybe some other issue, I don't, I don't know. Sexuality maybe? Is he saying that? Is she saying that uh, Amy spiders? Amy is a lesbian. As soon as they think of Amy, but she's a great person after all. But then the person in the poem hates Amy just because she's a lesbian. That's why Amy's lost. That's probably the best way to put it. I don't know, it's, my, it's only my own guess. Don't read too much into it. And it helps to prove your ass to be yeah. Like, you know, I agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Yep. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone seems by it. Doesn't matter, it can be by any sound. Your report. I know you like manga and anime. Does that mean people hate me because they know you like your attacker for it? For lack of a better term. Possibly. I don't want to be easy to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. So sometimes you're afraid that if people find out and they find they make fun of you or sing less of you. That just makes you feel stupid. <coughs> Excuse me. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not, not hurting anyone and makes them unhappy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking their things. Or maybe you're the one with the. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to get a read on her. Huh, that's funny. Yuri wrote poem that sounds a similar thing, yeah. Hmm? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an initial hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to me. We will surely make fun of each other. Make each other feel insecure about these things. Really? Well... I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I don't think she has some weird hobbies. I thought there's anything weird wrong with that. Mm. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Is that poem about herself when you're judging, judging Yuri? I mean, you're in the same club, but you don't seem to get along as well. You did fight the other day, too. It's hard to say. Lasky has her own words. I guess I should try not to be so into her. Yeah. You do that, Asuki. If she feels so insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always see people who make me feel insecure. You never make me feel insecure yesterday. <laughs> but the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. 
Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message of it in her poem. So about that. That's why I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. I want to make people say I guess feel. Remember that. I think I'm going to go for tomorrow, so I look forward to it. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I saw some extra plan today, so if everyone could come say it's from the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything different in just a few days. We end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really need to go over last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? You won't need much more than a few decorations. Sorry, guys, we're working on posters. I'm designing some tablets we can take out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Put um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to be sent during the event. But the cool part of this, we're also going to let anyone else come up and start poems soon. Sorry, it's putting it in all the posters in case anyone else prepare ahead of time. I know it's really weird coming from me who's filming and doing YouTube, but. I am not one to a public performance. Sorry, who's going to come here for proposal and hold up for us to see? Are you kidding me, Monica? You did, you did already start putting these up. This whole proposal, did you? Eh? My love, I did. Do you think it's a bad idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing for a group of people like that. I agree, Vosky. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. If you reach your head up here. Guys. No, sorry. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that asking that we have never shared their poems with anyone in here just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask them for them to resort their poems out loud for a full room full of, full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Yeah. Kind of bad. So, I'm sorry. What? I still think we should give our best. The only one to stop up were the fate of this club. If we start the event then each put on the comments, then we'll inspire the others to do the same. The more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings, being able to live yourself, finding new horizons, having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we are all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? Since I don't find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place, I know you do. I know we all do. If it takes a little standing, if all it takes is standing in front of the room, in front of the room for two minutes or standing in a poem, then I know you can do it. That's when you're in your base at Sorry, I'm sorry. This is, at least I need to know the choice. I agree. I don't think it's what you ask. I think it's Ali and Monica have been trying really hard to get the numbers. At least we can do this half up a little. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Nasty doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I just have to get over with. Alright. Here. Thanks, Nasty. What about you, Yuri? You need to check the new pants on everyone else's expecting faces. Hmm. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. Let's come and search for both of you, Daphne. Oh gosh. Let me find Yuri. Anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want to check if you can choose a pot of yours. We're going to be practicing. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Already? Monica! This is too sudden! 
Well, if you can't set your phone in front of the pub, how do you expect it to be a three by the strangers? Oh no. Don't worry, I'll start off to help you find a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Mark offers to her notebook to a specific poem she has in her mind for herself. She then sends Gaiden to you. I'm gonna save real quick. I feel like something's gonna happen. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Marco begins reciting her poem. The clear comfort voice was a theme. More than that, her affection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion to help each time she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply natural? Well, I imagine public speaking is good for her since she's the. Uh... Was she the political president? I mean, she's, I know she's a club president, but maybe like a student council president or something like that. Well, I guess... I don't know something that comes naturally to her, I guess. You guys are out me. Everyone has their eyes on... has their eyes on Monica. Sorry, I'm so amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. I was kind of hoping we could get to see the poem. Like, the contents, contents of the poem. Four of us applaud. Monica takes the person's files. <laughs> that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I just hope you did say a good example. Are you ready to go next, Ari? Uh, I'll go next. Ah, you're sorry that all of a sudden. Yuri touches the security for putting her hands and stands up. Keeping her head her head down, she walks quickly to the podium. This one was called you need to just leave that to run it on each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called. After an image of a crimson mine. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why are you suddenly putting it so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like that happens when Yuri gets himself into her books. The quivering words will transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in the structure that she moved, she now states, so put the pen in. This must be a very glimpse into the burning fire that the very piece can see inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Maybe stops back in the reality and puts it on her, as if she can go to her herself. Hi. It's up to be to the same as the station. And at first, I start plotting. Everyone enjoys me afterwards, and we give you the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so ca caught off guard that we must have forgotten. That's when we applaud, Yuri holds a poem in her chair chest, which is back to your seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for account. Okay, I guess I'm next to them. Sorry, how so over sure if you walk so over to the podium. I wonder if it's because we picked Yuri the Yuri path that she charged up first to go over the first hour. But whoever we're going to do after we left, we go second back to Monica. I don't know. Sorry, how so over sure if you walk so over to walk so podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I get cold. <laughs> Sorry. It's all harder than I thought. How did you guys do this so easily? Huh? Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine reciting it to yourself, like you're from the mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so you'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sorry because you're poem. Somehow it feels like your soft voice is me. You guys a perfect match. The poem is a less being cheerful as song is. It's a ring and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't see much of it. But hearing, hearing it come from Sari's voice almost gives me a whole new meaning. I mean, just what Sari meant when she said she likes my poems. It's a good fit to reach more deeply into someone I saw in you. It's true, it's true. Sari finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sari. <laughs> I guess I'll feel like it. I guess that's a good sign. 
was that even mean? Came out nicely, sorry. I haven't seen that for Palm Fits either, really nicely. But might be the other poems that wouldn't work well, quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours that where the, that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. It might be a little more force beh behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well... I've been kind of... I've been practicing this that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of, in front of everyone. <laughs> And next time, I'm going to make you pick up all the challenges you learn more. You don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Yeah. Reading so much. So, yeah. That's it? <laughs> don't make me come for Sophie. It's not, it's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Sophie and the world of 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 it's fine, it's fine. My bad's okay with my worth. It's not like I have much of a selection to, to, to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I set up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has, has eyes on me, making me feel a bit awkward. I start my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. It's like that, once I finish, I'm receiving the pause anyway. So I am not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's what's seen out of them over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. Can you see the Nazi? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Let's keep you gradually get out of the seat to me so we can afford you. Home is called. It's called. Why are you looking at me? Because I'm presenting. Anyway, Tom's got a jump. Is that the one from her, her, fir her first poem? The one she showed me last time? Probably. Last he takes a breath. Once she starts reading really the poem, her sour attitude is going to be real. While she's still a little uninstanced, her poem has a rhythm and a rhythm to it. It's not sweet to her style. The words surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they're bounced, they bounce up and down, as if you like they fall. Well, they just got bounced after all. Let's see finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make him do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put it all out of her face and walk with people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Nazi. It seems to be good on me around for me. Well, that's just how this, uh, it is, so... Ah, I keep saying kudos to the sour suppression. Well, in that, I guess in that case, you don't have to worry about for the festival. That's, that said, I want to see any more of it coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all, you all have an idea of what it is, it is like that. Yeah. Make sure you pick a poem again and practice before the festival, okay? I'm gonna make you pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time when you decide it. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. This has to be your own. I already find this surprise that you're putting up and I was ever for the club. Makes me really happy. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. Let's see you guys about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's write my poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I think I'm doing that. I'm doing that. As for the festival, we'll be planning tomorrow, and then we'll have a weekend, weekend to prepare. Monday's a big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'm going to find that kind of the same enthusiasm as Sarah and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. And this for a secret to club. The person Monica. But I'll just have to do my best. Why did you say impress Monica? Who did say you were saying very? Hmm, strange. Very do you know Sarah? Yep. 
Why is it looking good like that? It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. It makes such a big deal of it. That's the other nice though. Well, ah. How does this respond like that to that? It's okay, it's okay. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I saw that I had to choose between walking home and almost hour and really. Guess not. I walk home almost hour once more. Even though it's been a, been a few days, I'm also have already changed. But today, Sari's been being a little partner than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Sorry, that's what I see out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something over there. I like how we get to, I mean, sorry for most of her lives. So let's just say that one day, if you ask him, that's the welcome with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? What kind of feeling you have a spot here? <laughs> yep, I think it's short enough. I think it's a bit too much after a while. Oh god. There's no good ending for this, is there? If what I said is right, and that Sari is depressed and Yuri is the ender, if I choose to walk home with Yuri, Sari will give you the right first because I don't know. Maybe she sees us as a romantic interest and she feels like Yuri. Like Yuri more than her. And that's not going to If I would say, if I walk on the salary, Yuri would get uh, jealous. Wouldn't she? Oh god. Well, I'm glad Mark had the photos to say. Okay, let's see from here. So, I feel horrible. I don't feel horrible though. The going home sorry is sentencing to death. You gotta write me too. I'm sure that Sauron is depressed. She gave us so many hints. Yuri? I'm not 100% sure she was there. She gave us a few hints of her genocide, but not necessarily as far as Yander. Yuri is the one who gave us all the hints. Yuri is the one who gave us all the hints. Punish non commitment. So, if I were to. So, I have to really commit to something. Since I've been spending time with Yuri so far, I think I have to go with Yuri. Could be online for like one day. Oh god, I hope sorry doesn't go in there too. I didn't think about that.
Commitment is probably the worst thing that I could do. I assume, yeah, the character we're playing as a So we have to commit. We're already on the injury path, so. I'm sorry, sorry. Please don't hate me for this. Fuck you, Yuri, really, huh? Why does it sound like that that makes my heart pound? I mean, keeping it hard is in this world to socialize. I would. I don't feel awful for turning her down, so. Isn't she something with a spark? It has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admit it. Jeez. There's not even any point to expect maybe to see if it's going to happen. Well, maybe. But just like to think about it. It's not like before you're in the anymore, you know? Oh. Fuck. And she did say earlier she's trying to use it to put out a running session for her friends. So her laugh and stuff like that is definitely not. Cover your mask. Need you. Sorry. I can't figure out how you see the things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a person for you. Mm -hmm. If you say so. The conversation shows off and I'm not feeling awkward. It's kind of hurtful for checking in with yourself after a question. I you just can't like her. But there's something that makes her happy. I would hate to keep that away from her. That's why I said there's no point speculating. Then again, the person was only a few days away. Who knows what happened that time? Ah, fuck. Here. We're going for an hour and 20 minutes or so. Not too much shocking stuff or really horrible stuff. But there are hints, like really big hints now, and we probably set ourselves into a few paths. Into a certain path now. I don't say you found there, but I feel like if I do load it later, or load it now, even. Then... There's gonna be a record of me picking. The picking the first choice, that first first. I'm sorry, sorry, but after being really committed, committed. Then we picked the very path. It means I just go for it. Oh, go for it. I'm just going to quickly skip through this, go through this. I'm not going to read it around again like I did before, so I'm just going to go. Go through it on real quick. That's the same, right? What? Okay. I can save real quick. I don't need to pick that stuff out of this. Uh, he's gonna... Eternity... Fine. Extraordinary. Oh. Happy Fowler, wonderful. Let's just see the end of it. Calm I'm getting all of the salary stuff here. Happy. Imagination. This is something. I'm kind of trying to keep compensating, trying to pick, pick one very stuff. No, this is hard for me. I think. Alright. Huh. Not just an entry paper, I'm not a problem with entry. Thank you. Wait, I forgot that, sorry. I think Puppy loves being so silly, can you go? And it. Sometimes I ask if I have a little bit of an instrument. I'm philosophy. Philosophy. So this is just a misfortune thing, that's what he's trying to do. Have the same... Huh. I'm ready for a pleasure to come in here. 
I just think we're gonna do over the last time I saw some masses in the same way. Right, I'm gonna just stop here before I go for another day. It's gonna take like a whole another hour before I finish this day. Probably longer. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and comment. Hope you're gonna appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.